Hey everyone, over the past few years, I've watched people who express conservative views being treated poorly by police, governments, violent protesters, and huge private companies, and it's only getting worse. Every time I see a Trump supporter bashed over the head by a crazy communist Antifa idiot, I say to myself, well, this must be rock bottom. Things will get better from here, but the opposite is happening. Donald Trump's still being universally attacked by the mainstream media and government establishment. Trump supporters are still facing violent attacks from unhinged mobs. Open conservatives, even powerful ones, are being denied service. Democrats are now even openly calling for violence against Republicans. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. That's why I believe if we are fortunate enough to win back the House and or the Senate. That's when civility can start again. On digital platforms like YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, conservatives are targeted nonstop and ruthlessly. And I'm not just talking about Alex Jones. Average commentators, comedians, regular people are getting tossed into a digital ghetto or threatened for having perfectly reasonable views, myself included. I've been demonetized countless times on YouTube and sent to Twitter jail because of hate. Meanwhile, leftists can call for white genocide or the assassination of President Trump and Twitter does nothing. Truthfully, I want Twitter to stay out of it altogether, but it's not fair when it seems only conservatives are getting shadow banned on social media. Here in Canada, a national conservative who dared to question immigration levels and extreme multiculturalism publicly was bullied out of his own party and forced to begin an all-new party. In Toronto, a right-wing mayoral candidate who's already famous and polling in third place has been blocked from participating in debates and has had her mayoral ads pulled from a TV station, despite this being an illegal act under the CRTC. It's outrageous and unprecedented. So what's the future for conservatives? The media and government establishment are clearly targeting us and looking to slowly strip us of our rights. Are we all going to end up unemployable, deplatform pariahs? How many people are saving their livelihoods right now by pretending to be liberals at work out of fear? Leftists hate us so much they want us broke, completely isolated with no friends and family, and shunned from society. Is the future for conservatives to have to wear identifiable badges? live in a designated ghetto? We're practically living in a digital ghetto and the contrast is unreal. Person A opens a Twitter account to highlight anti-white hatred, deplatformed and banned. Person B, a New York Times employee, sends out hundreds of anti-white tweets, keeps her jobs, her Twitter account, gets a blue check mark, and the New York Times defends her. It's just that simple. It can't continue like this. And let's try to define conservative. It's really a turn of the last century liberal. If you care about illegal immigration, mass immigration to the West, free speech and law and order, you're now seen as subhuman open to abuse. Which is really bizarre considering these are things that Bill Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, and Barack Obama campaigned on when they were running for political office years ago. Even Toronto Mayor John Tory, who endorsed Toronto as a sanctuary city, campaigned on getting rid of illegals back in 2003. Nowadays, conservative isn't about political party names, it's just a way of viewing things, and that usually means viewing things logically, rationally, and reasonably. It also means believing someone's innocence before proven guilty, like in the case of Brett Kavanaugh. Leftists want to be able to accuse someone of a heinous sexual assault and demand you believe every accusation without due process. It's absolutely mental. But if you go against this extremism, you're treated like the extremist. If you don't want your homelands destroyed by mass immigration of divergent cultures and your border protected, well, straight to the gulag for you. It's like we live in a society that marginalizes normal, healthy people. Everything is so backwards right now. It's like an upside down reality that's really based on lies. White guilt, the gender pay gap, microaggressions, pro-diversity, open borders, proportional representation based on race and gender, all of these concepts are alien to the Western world's history of success and all are designed to twist obvious truths to manipulate and brainwash people. And it's working. More than ever, we're divided. Even friends that have known each other for years and close family members are no longer speaking because of political differences. I hear a lot lately from people in private that a war is the only way out, that the divide on issues and ideology is just too wide and too difficult to mend. I personally believe we're already fighting an ideological war. Every institution from Hollywood to the media and academia and even the government are against sane traditional people, also known as conservatives. 
and it's only getting worse. So what do you think? Do you believe conservatives are persona non gratas in society? And is it going to lead to a war? Or do you think like me, we're already in a cultural and technological war? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and have a great day.